welcome to all students in subject design of transmission system today we discuss about cone clutch the clutches is a mechanism to transmit rotary motion from one shaft to the another co coincident shaft right that is driving shaft to drive one shaft and when required without stopping the driver shaft clutches are also required to disengage the drive from engine to gearbox for the changing the gears during slowing of vehicle or stopping the clutch is used to disengage engine from drive wheels and enable smooth stopping of vehicle since clutch is of frictional material it also takes care of speed and torque variation for engine crank shaft to gearbox input shaft there is some functions of clutch is when clutch is engaged the clutch transmits maximum power from engine crankshaft to gearbox input shaft when clutch is engaging the clutch accommodates for minor slippages and hence provides smooth drive transmission without jerks when clutch is disengaged when clutch is disengaged the clutch allows driver to shift the transmission in various gear uh, positions first second thirds when clutch is disengaged the engine can be cranked freely without transmitting the driver to the wheels there is some disadvantages as com compared to clone clutch springs have to be more stiff and this means greater force required to be applied for driver while disengaged this is the diagram of cone clutch in the diagram there is female cone male cone bearings splines clutch shaft spring and friction surface these all this is the diagram of cone clutch okay in clone clutch this is the diagram okay the cones there is female is this is the description of this diagram cones is female green male blue shaft male cone is sliding on splines there is friction material spring brings the made cone back after using the clutch control clutch control separating both cones by pressing the rotating direction both direction of the axis are possible this is the diagram these are the shown by 1 2 3 4 5 6 here we mention 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay okay this is the diagram 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and after this okay and here we mention 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 okay now we discuss about cone clutch in the engaged position the friction surface are in complete contact this is done by means of spring which keep the male cone press all the time when the clutch is engaged the torque is transmitted from engine via the flywheel and the male cone to the spline gear box shaft for disengaging the clutch the male cone is pulled out by means of lever system operated through clutch pedal thereby separating the contact surface this is the diagram of cone clutch in cone clutch all factors are considered drive one shaft drive one shaft driving shaft friction lining okay in friction clutches there are three types plate or disc in friction clutches there are three types plate or disc clutches cone clutch cone clutches and centrifugal clutches in plate clutches there are two types single plate and multiple multiple plate clutches now we today discuss about clone clutch clone clutch this is the diagram clone cone clutch in the diagram we given the angle is phi which is semi apex angle of the cone this is the friction lining drive one shaft speed now we discuss about the formulas the total frictional torque is given by t t is equal to mu w r r means mean radius the for uniform pressure or for nucleus capital r is equal to 2 by 3 r1 cube minus r2 cube upon r1 square minus r2 square cos ec alpha for uniform wear for old clutches capital r is equal to r1 plus r2 bracket by 2 cos ec alpha there is advantages 
द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ कोन क्लच इज दैट द नॉर्मल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन कॉन्टैक्ट सरफेस इन दिस केस इज लार्जर दैन एक्सेल फोर्स एज कंपेयर टू सिंगल प्लेट क्लच इन अ विच द नॉर्मल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन कॉन्टैक्ट सरफेस इज इक्वल टू द एक्सेल फोर्स नाउ दिस एडवांटेजेस दिस टाइप्स ऑफ क्लच इज प्रैक्टिकली एब्सोल्यूट बिकॉज द फॉलोइंग रीजन्स If the angle of cone is made less than 20 made less than about 20 degree it will be difficult to disengage the clutch a small amount of wear on the cone surface results in considerable amount of axial moment of the male cone for which it will be difficult to allow in centrifugal clutch in fully centrifugal type clutches the springs are eliminated along allocate together and only centrifugal force is used to apply to apply the required pressure for keeping the clutch in engaged position this is the diagram in this diagram there is shown flat spring guide rim and shoe this is a clutch when stage when clutch clutch flies out this is low speed this is high speed advantages of centrifugal clutch is no separate clutch plate is required clutch is operated up automatically depend upon the engine speed when design of centrifugal clutch these are the parameter is consider n is number of shoes m is mass of each shoe capital r is equal to inside radius of the pulley ring small r is equal to distance of entire of gravity of the shoes from the center of the spider capital n is equal to running speed of the pulley omega is equal to angular speed of the pulley 2 pi n upon 16 omega n is equal to angular speed at which the engagement being to the take place mu is equal to coefficient of friction between the shoe and rim now centrifugal force acting on each shoe fc is equal to m omega square r spring force exerted by each spring on the shoe a f s is equal to m omega square, m omega when omega 1 square r net outward force on the shoe is equal to f c minus f s is equal to m omega square r minus m omega omega 1 square r frictional force acting on each shoe f is equal to mu f c minus f s frictional torque acting on each shoe t r is equal to f into r that is equal to mu into fc minus fs frictional torque acting on each shoe is equal to tr is equal to f into r that is equal to mu into fc minus fs into capital r total frictional torque transmitted capital t is equal to n into mu fc minus fs into r n fr size of the shoe is l is equal to contact length of the shoes b is equal to width of the shoes r is equal to contact radius of the shoes theta is equal to angle subtended by the shoes at the center of the spider p is equal to intensity of pressure exerted on the shoe l 1 l is equal to r theta sorry i sorry l is equal to r theta area of contact of the shoe is equal to a into l into b net forces acting on the shoe is equal to fc minus fp direct that is equal to a into p that is equal to l into b into p so today we discuss about what is cone clutch what is the types of cone clutch and how to design the cone clutch so thank you all of you